Okay, who is this? Maria? Manuel? Okay, y'all pay attention because I'm not going to uh, repeat myself too much, but we'll answer all your questions. Okay, the objective of this workshop is a teaching to show you how to turn your mag graph into anti gravity and zero point energy device. Okay, go ahead. What's the question, Manuel? And that's how I'm going to draw it. I'm going to draw it at the picture. But you need you need <clears throat> two frequency generator. Okay? You already know what a frequency generator. Can someone please Google? Uh, I'll go to Amazon, put frequency generate and share the screen. Do that for me. Because I need your help on this one. Okay, go to Amazon and put frequency generator. And then share it on the screen so everybody can see what it looked like. <clears throat> then once you see it on Amazon, you would... And share it on the screen. So I can see it too. Now you're gonna you're gonna see who's the true master of MagGraph technology and the plasma world. I Kosal am your true bullshit master in plasma and anti gravity. So without my bullshit, you would never make it would never work. That's the key. <laughs> I'm gonna teach you. So we're going to have frequency generator. Okay. I'm going to draw the magnetic gravitational. Hello, Milan. I'm teaching people how to turn their mag graph into anti-gravity device now. And, and how it works. And zero point energy completely. Thanks to you. Thanks to, no, no. Thanks to me. Thank you. <laughs> okay, this is. So, okay, this is your magnet gravitational coil. Do you see it? Pretend this is. This is the inner one right there. This is the first one, the inner one. Okay, I'm going to drop. Right here. We're going to change this into anti-gravity device now. Okay? So, now, Maria, I need your help. Can you share the picture of magnetic gravitational, please? Oh, there it is. So this is the frequency generator. Good. You need two of this. You need two of the frequency generator. You need two. Because you're going to hook up one magnetic gravitational coil to one of this and the other one to another frequency generator. So you need that in order to make your anti-gravity and zero-point energy device. Okay? So you get it right, you see? Okay. So that frequency generator, and this is your magnetic gravitational coil, it will go to the frequency generator. You will not, I'm going to draw the circuit. Let me get some more card. Today I am, today I'm playing Mr. Cash, okay? Mr. Cash today. Okay, I'm going to do good morning, good afternoon.
good day to ever you will add. This is his cash cosal. <laughs> yes. Good. You will need two of that. And once you have your gravitational, can someone please share a gravitational coil, please? Man, a gravitational. Anybody have a picture or share screen? Maria, are you there? Maria? Yeah. Can you please share the magnet gravitational coil uh, like we did? Okay. No. Okay. This I'm going to use the frequency generator. This is going to be a representation. I'm going to put F1, FR1 for freaking frequency generator one, and FR2. Yes, today I missed the cash. Okay, so bear with. <laughs> Today is Cash Kosal. Okay. FR1. FR2 standing for frequency generator. Okay, this is FR1 and FR2. Now, <clears throat> you see guys, FR1, FR2, magnetic gravitational coil, just one set. Not even, this is, you. <clears throat> not even a set. There you go. This, you see this now? You have the magnetic gravitational coil, but they're not going to be connecting to each other. It's going to be two sets. This is considered to be one set. And see another one set is bigger than this. Okay. Now, this set is going to connect up to one frequency generator, and another set is going to con connect to the second frequency generator, and this coil is going to be 90 degrees from the other magnetic gravitational coil. Okay, and um, let me see. Okay, and I, I wish you have the um, the um, magnetic gravitation coil where it turned 90 degrees. That'd be really good for me. Okay, so this, as you can see, this will connect to this frequency generator right here. So You see that? You see it now? Magnetic. This is the frequency generator right there. This magnetic gravitational coil is connected to that frequency generator. This is called a uh, mini the, the small one. Okay, who is, who is, excuse me, who is making the noise? Guys, I can't, I can't teach. Carlos, please. Okay, guys, now what I'm going to tell you, they're going to get some of you killed. Let's let you know that. So you see it, people on Facebook? This magnetic gravitation will connect to the frequency generator, one, the one of them. And now I'm going to drill, look, you got the idea now, right? This magnetic gravitational is connected to the frequency generator to create an oscillation. Now we're going to have another set. It's going to be 90 degree.
This is called <clears throat> the magnetic gravitational core set to 90 degree. You understand now? You have your idea now? This is what will create your plasma field and anti-gravity. The, the two fields will oscillate. The two frequencies will oscillate. This set, for example, 500k hub. This one, this one right here set for 1 million k, 1 million hertz. There's two oscillation. Remember, this is 90 degree from each other. You have Mr. Mr. Cash have it. You have a set coil, 90 degree. This is the schematic for it. This is your anti gravity. This is your zero point energy right here. This will create the plasma field instantly. It will glow. It will take off, and it will self sustain itself. Any question? Okay. Now, usually in the old days, they have them like this. In the old days, we have them like this. You see this one? This is where the um, this is where the pen, this is the pendicular coil with the rod, and this is the ring, the ring, the ring coil right there. You see? This is this is back in the old days, and this one will go to one frequency generator, and this one will go to another frequency generator. It will cause the oscillate. Uh, This is, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Mr. Cash design, you see he turned 90 degrees, but now the same way you're connecting up to a frequency generator. Each of them, so it's separate from each other. So, one will receive 500,000 hertz, the other one will create, uh, have a million hertz. There's two different oscillations will create the third field. You call it your um, manic, magnetic gravitational field, which then your device starts to glow and shape change. Okay. Yes, we are doing it right now, and I will have Minriel go get your mag graph, and you're going to take them apart right now. The magnet, you will cut it from your mag graph. It's just one meter away. Don't worry, I have it in one second. Yes, we're going to have Manuel right now. Please join me in Zoom so you can see we're making anti gravity right now. We're going to teach you how to do it. And I'm um, today, my name will be uh, Kosal Cash. <laughs> I'm Barra Cash today. Good morning, good day, good afternoon. Okay? So this is magnet gravitational coil, as you can see. Hi, hon. That's my wife, Jessica. This magnet gravitational, it'd be 90 degrees from each other. But it's separate from this magnetic gravitational, and it will go into a frequency generator. Frequency generator one, and this one will go into frequency generator uh, two. The two oscillation, one of them will set at 500 k hertz, the other one will set at 1 million k hertz, for example. Or you can do uh, seven hertz, the other one could be at 20 hertz. This different oscillation will create the uh, plasma field, the third frequency, the force field we call, that will produce zero point energy and will create anti-gravity. The zero point energy will come from your magnetic field and the gravitational will create anti-gravity field so the device will start to levitate this coil. Now the problem, yes, yeah, yes, that's why I'm looking, yeah, that's, that's it, that's what we want, see? Okay, people. You can have it, but you don't need it. Okay, so just one and one. Yes. Okay. You see, if you, so now you will have the different oscillation right here. So you see how to set up like that. This is how you're beginning to create. But now for those who like it, you can have the double coil, the magnetic gravitational inside. Excuse me, it's gone. I lost it. <clears throat> oh, okay. Hold on. Let's put it again. Okay. So if you if you plan to have it the double set that's fine but the hour must 
um, flow in the same way. But you don't really need it. You just only need one. And then you need the other one. So here you go. So this would be like the magnet gravitational magnet. And this one could be gravitational. Or you can have both magnet gravitational in one coil. But both of them be connecting to the same frequency. Why this one would be connecting to the other frequency generator. Right here. This big one. So is there any question from people in Facebook? Or even from the Zoom? Now. You guys, some of you will get killed when you build this device. Just let you know that, okay? What's why are you gonna get killed? Me, you're gonna get a visit from your NSA CIA operative. They're gonna confiscate your device. Some of your device will start to fly away, and uh, some of your device will disappear in time and space. And to those who are working on this, you will get your anti gravity and your zero. So, just I'll let you know ahead of now. Because this is the game changer. I've been waiting for you guys to figure this out. And Cashy not going to tell it. Because he know what happened. I put that cap in his butt. You know. Because I told him I am the, the operative watching him. Like a hawk. And only I can give it. So you see. I live. I fulfill my promise already. I give you the, the cue. Which control this plasma gravitational plasma field. That will be created by this step. And the freak, all you need was the frequency generator. This magnet gravitational must not connect to each other. This one must not connect to this one at all. I only connect to the frequency generator. Do you understand? This magnet gravitational coil that is perpendicular to this magnet gravitational coil. This one must connect to the frequency generator one. And this one must connect to the frequency generator number two. Setting it to a different oscillation. And that's what we create your glow and anti gravity. So, uh, as you can see, guys. Mm -hmm. Yes. Any question? This is uh, this is Coastal Cash. <laughs> Today I'm channeling the cash you would, cause I'm the best of the best. So now you guys got it. And if you, so, here you go. Let me. Let me snap the snare, okay. Um, baby, if you can send me that picture to my uh, Facebook, and I can save it, and then I can draw on it and start sharing screen. Okay. Okay. I want you guys to come to Zoom if you can, and I wait for my other honey, Maria, to give me this, and then my and my, my legal honey, which is Jessica. So I want you guys to come to Zoom, and today I'm going to have Manuel right now taking, doing his, cutting the mag graph, and do exactly it in physical. And that's all you need. But now your Q device come in handy, because once you set this up, your mag graph begin to levitate, begin to glow, begin to change color, depending on your frequency. The frequency must not be the same. So you see now? Magnetic gravitational coil must connect to your um, to your frequency generator. Let's see. So in the older they use this, they use this long, this um, perpendicular version, and just with a ring coil right there, and and that will create your anti gravity right there. So yes, Cashy World, are you Cashy World? I told you I'm your savior. Not Cashy, me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> then as you like that, I'm, I'm, I'm channeling the Cashy World today. <laughs> okay, once Maria send me the, the, uh, <laughs> okay. Um doing anti gravity. Gravity. 
workshop. I'm trying to tell my German people. With my graph. And that will tell them I'm doing anti gravity workshop um, and zero point with the mag graph. So they can know the subject today. Okay, Manuel, are you there? Where's Manuel? Okay, any okay, I'm looking. Well, I see Maria. Okay, everybody. Uh, Maria, please send me that thing. Okay, there you go. Now I'm gonna Okay, good. Okay. <clears throat> Magnetic gravitational sort. Okay, now. Okay, now we're going to have a little bamboo here. Okay. Okay, I'm having Maria. I'm going to share Maria's screen. Okay, so as I said before, guys. Now, we're going to the dangerous ground now. Those of you who are scared, you don't have to know about this. But those who, who is ready to have zero point energy and anti-gravity, then you can stay with this Zoom. Okay, now, so is Manuel or Maria, which one? Okay, you're pulling your, okay, um, Maria, do you have your mag graph? I sent it to you. No, no, I'm talking about, I, I saw someone pull out the real, the real mag graph coil, and I was planning to use, you, your, you, uh, was that you or was that Manuel? No, no, honey. I'm not talking about the picture. I'm talking about the real coil. I saw someone pull out the real. I have here a uh, real uh, micro. Um, yeah, um, micro yeah. Okay, yes. Okay. It's not locked or I just have it. Oops. Okay. Okay, good. Well, we don't have to plug it in. Um, If you could show it to the camera, the, the people here, so we. If you don't mind sharing your screen, yeah, okay, I'll, re I'll just on spotlight you, okay? Mm. okay? Okay, let me see. Today, I'm um, okay, I'm spotlighting you. Okay, good. <clears throat> so, with your mag graph right there, now you see your magnetic gravitational coil set one, set two. You know, this. There's set one, set two. Set magnetic gravitational coil. It has to be like that. It has to be turned 90 degree. You see it? Okay, so uh, what I have to do? It has to be 90 degree. Just like what Maria showed in her picture. Like this. I don't see yet. Yes, you do. Um... Okay. Has to be 90 degree like that. Okay, yeah. Has to be 90 degree like that. Yes, exactly like that. Okay. Um, so if I ha have to do it like this, I need a, yeah, a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, however, that, 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 that magnetic gravitational must not 
must not I mean this one right here the, the inside one the one that is 90 degree from the other one must not connect to the outside one it must be independent according to the diagram you see it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. see magnetic gravitational cause you have two set of magnetic gravitational coil the inner one and the outer one correct the uh, first set of magnetic 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 gravitational coil which is right here this one connect to frequency generator one and this second magnetic gravitational coil that is outside right there it connected to uh, frequency generator number two and that's it that's your anti-gravity technology right there is that simple now it have I done this yes I have done it already but it flew away now it's time to give you your chance that time I didn't master the cue yet but now we all know how to make the Q ring, the Q technology that will control the plasma field of the magnetic gravitational generator that will create. In the old day, as you can see, we have to use this this side, um, this side. You see that one right there, with the rod and the ring and connect to mag and frequency generator one and frequency generator two, and and this is the key to anti-gravity technology. So the Cash Foundation, they almost got it. They almost got it, but they just didn't know how to do the next step. They didn't know that you cannot connect gravitational magnetic coil, the first set to uh, set number two. It, it does not work like that. You can need to connect the set to a frequency generator. So that will create an oscillation the two different oscillations from the two different frequency frequency generators running on the magnetic gravitational coil will create the third oscillation, which that will generate the plasma. We call it the quantum wave. And that's why your Q device will control, able to control the plasma field generated by the magnetic gravitational coil. Hey, baby, do I sound like Cashy World today? Is it a... <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. You see this mag graph right here, guys? You see this is the mag graph or manual? You see how they have mag gravitational coil in there? And that's, you see how we set it according to the picture a minute ago? And that's what we want. We only need one of this set, you know. And that's how we just turn it 90 degree. <clears throat> now. Now, I told you guys, Mr. Cash is not your savior. I am. That's why the universe sent me to teach you how to save yourself. So by creating the Q device, which the Q device will control your mag graph once, it's, once you set it up for anti-gravity and zero point. Okay? And that's why we need the Q so bad. Because it is the um, nervous system and the brain consciousness of your mag graph system. Because without it, you can't control your mag graph. Because your mag graph will fly away. We fly into space and never return. But with your Q device, your higher self can bring it back, bring it back. But the, and that's why I'm sharing this simultaneously as put it in Facebook because I don't want them to come back and say they the one that invented. No, you did, motherfucker. Kosal is the winner. Kosal is the one. Cause you guys better back me up. Cause otherwise I'm gonna cry. No, I'm gonna hurt feeling. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to cry like little kid, right? <laughs> man, yo, like, oh, man, you hurt my feelings, dog. Oh, you hurt my feelings. <laughs> so, uh, Kosla, I, I got you right. Yes. I like this. Yes, but however, you need to cut. You need to cut the coil. It must be separated. That one right there. In other yeah. words, the inner coil, or the inner coil, they, they can connect to each other. It's okay. But the inner coil... Oh, who's this? I don't recognize. David, is that you? Uh, this is Errol Jordan. Oh, hey, Errol. Hey, um, we're doing anti-gravity workshop and um, and zero point. Today is the real day. Because hey, I, I waited for Mr. Cash to bring this technology out too long, but look like he's not going to bring it out. So I will bring it out. I will teach people now. And I will save them and get this. Uh, so we can move on to the next chapter. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, today's workshop is getting the mag graph to get turned into anti-gravity and show them how to set it up. It looks like this. This is the schematic. If any of you who know anti-gravity, you'll recognize this instantly. Even... Uh, no, argument. No, no, no. Your Q is the control system of your anti-gravity technology. It's the one that heal you. Uh, it's the one that talk to you. It has artificial intelligence built inside it. So your Q is, a, your Q is the, the control system of anti-gravity proportion system. That's your mag graph. That's anti-gravity. But we built the Q to able to control the anti-gravity unit, which is the mag graph. But most of the people who build a mag graph, they don't know how to set up for anti-gravity. And that's what I'm going to show them today. Oh, well, I may have to have a one-on-one -on -one with you because, um, uh, but I won't, I won't slow down everybody else. I'll ask questions later. Okay. But it's workshop. Anybody can ask questions. It's okay. But, um, so what I'm doing right now is to save our ass. I'm, I'm streamlining this on Facebook. And so the power that be, because they know I'm teaching the correct science, and therefore they will be on to this thing so fast. But by streaming it, everyone see it, and therefore we give them multiple target, you know. Because we got the control system built. We got the anti-gravity unit set up now. I'm releasing the knowledge today. And... Um, and that will be spread throughout the... Uh, you guys spread it. You, hey, everyone in online, share. Share this link to, to your timeline. See? It's Facebook Live. So I'm telling everybody on Facebook to share the link now. Now. Share the link now. Yeah. Because you're going to learn anti-gravity today. We're going to turn the mag graph into anti-gravity and zero point. I'm setting it, show you how to set it up. <clears throat> so, so you see, yes. Good. Okay. Okay. Cut. Okay. Cu okay. Let me show you. I'm, I'm going to draw it real quick. Okay. I'm sorry, I, 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 okay. You. In your mag graph, you have two gravitational and two magnetic, okay? Okay, I'm going to draw it right now. Today, I am known as Cash Kosal. So, I'm like your Asian version of Mr. Cash. <clears throat> See? You see what I did? This is your magnetic gravitational coil, but make it connect to each other like that. Okay? Yes. Yes. Yes, connected to themselves. There you go. Okay, look. And the from the The same thing. Yes, it is do the same thing. Okay, you do both two the same. Now, now watch. Now this is the bigger coil. Okay, it's the same way. Okay. I, I think I get it. I get it. Okay. I'm gonna draw a little bigger. Some people, they want me to draw the whole thing because they're stupid. They don't have high IQ, so I have to be considered their feeling. <laughs> but I still don't call them stupid, you know. Because remember, I'm the Fuhrer, so I can abuse. Just kidding. <laughs> I, love, I love joking with people. 
Okay. Okay, guys. Now I'm going to give you all the technology of the secret space program. I know I'm going to get visited, but who cares, right? Okay, now you understand now, you see? It's a 90 degree, or maybe you look at this way. Is that better? You have to uh, get it uh, in your mind as a three-dimensional. Yes. And it makes sense, yeah. yeah. Yes, okay. Magnetic gravitational coil, you see the inner coil both, and the inner coil is connected to the outer coil for independent. This one is independent from this one. This one, this one right here is independent from this one. They are, so now they're going to connect to the frequency generator. So the only thing which is different is to uh, disconnect them. Right? Yes. Do I get it right? Well, and then Yeah, frequency generator. You see it? I have one of them connecting to one frequency generator already. And the other one, which is right there, will connect to the other frequency generator. But that's just so simple. I've been telling you it's so simple. But it was right, I was like, uh, I was like, t look, you see it? The one of the coil, one of the mag gravitation coil is connect to each other and it connect to one frequency generator, but the other one will connect to the other frequency generator. Okay. Now remember, guys, this is not a joke. Okay. You know I've been teaching you. I've been, I've been, in, I've, I've been in grooming you for this day. You have an agenda. I told you I'm your savior. I'm here to save you. Sorry, Carla. Okay, hold on for us, guy. See, I don't want anyone to mess up anything right now because this teaching is important it is it is it is your life it's what you've been working for what i'm going to reward you cash is not going to reward because you deserve it one year i waited one year you understand now you see this is it this is anti-gravity this is it. You understand now? Look, this is it. This is your anti gravity and your zero point energy. Now, what happened when you oscillate? This can be set on 500,000. This is 1 million. The two form, or you can put this 20, and this is can be 10. You know, 10 hertz per second, 20 hertz per second, but it must not be the same. It must be different. The two different will create the third field which surround your device. So this can be 10 hertz. This can be 20 hertz. This can be 100. This can be uh, 150. Again, it must be a yes. That's all better, yes. And this will create the oscillation, and it, the two fields start to triangulate and create the third field, which you call your plasma field. And that's where your Q device come in because the device will, will suck electricity from your house and it will start to glow. And then you can disconnect it. Now it's self-generating. Now it's self-oscillating. Now it does everything. And here it begin it want to take off. It will start to vibrate, change color. It will, gone. It will push through your wall, push the window. And that's why you tell your device. Immediately when you see that, it's a device activate and increase. You are connect to your Q device. Device, 
control the magnetic the, the MagGraph device now and then device and they come down to you. You say, MagGraph, come. And then the MagGraph will come to you. Because we as long as you control the Q device, your Q device control it. It that's how I why we built the Q device. Also, uh, may I ask you two questions? Yes. First, So mm -hmm. you're just talking about these two uh, coils. Yes, just the two coil. That's Not it. The, the three I showed you. No. It's just the no. two coils. Because okay. if you know what oscillation is, it made from capacitor and resistor. Does that make sense? The mag graph, it have a capacitor, but it's a plasma capacitor. Hello, you know? So it's not going to no, oscillate. It's just a small device, or? Huh? No, 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 no. No, all I meant is that you need an oscillator machine known as a frequency generator. But in order to make an oscillator circuitry, you need a regular capacitor and a resistor, according to electronic schematic. So you see? So that's why we put a frequency generator, because come on. It's, you don't have to build your own stuff. You can go to Amazon, spend a little money, and you have your anti-gravity. Now, this thing will... This thing will to glow, it will levitate, it will want to take off. It will want to speed and go to space. So that's why your cue is needed to bring it back. Because it will listen to you when you use your cue. Because your cue control it. It become a consciousness. Uh, then my next question, uh, may I interrupt you? Where are you uh, plugging your cue? On this uh, uh, thing that you no. Would your cue interface with you and you in interface with the higher cell? The higher cell control your mag graph too. Because your mag graph is anti gravity based. Your cue is not anti gravity based. Your cue is designed to create rainbow light body by making you enlightenment, feeding you and stuff. But your mag graph is, is anti gravity. It's designed purely for anti, anti gravity. <laughs> Yes. Yes, the two frequency generator. But now, once the coil start pulsing, it will start to suck a lot of electricity once it oscillate a little bit. But and then it will stop, and then we start giving back electricity to your house. Immediately, if you start to unplug it, the device still keep going. The glow starts to keep going around your your magnet gravitational coil. And I this get, is. I get, a, mm -hmm. I get it perfectly right now. Yes. <laughs> and to close the door, I get a, a miss holding. Mm -hmm. right. Now, in the old day, what? in the old day, anti gravity was made like this. Let me let me show you what happened. Can you explain anti gravity a little bit more? Okay, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Anti gravity, actually, there's no such thing. Your device will create a gravity field within itself. Like like the Earth has its own gravity field. It will create its own environment. However, if you stay in the ship, right, your time will, will travel differently. In other words, you might travel only 20 minutes, but when you come back, 60 years have passed. This is just the nature, how it works. So basically, your anti-gravity, mag magnetic gravitational coil will become like more, pretty much a time machine. Okay, in the old day, they have this. They have just the coil with the frequency generator. You recognize this coil, right? Okay, see? This is this is the first step of anti-gravity. You see? You recognize this. Uh, what's it called? Horizontal. You know, yeah, horizontal right there. Uh, Pendecla, what do you call it? It's just a regular coil wrapping on. Okay, remember I'm the father of anti gravity because I made I wrote books on it, I built so many versions of it, and it all flew away. Now, your turn. Okay, now there's your ring device. Remember, this is it's just a regular coil, this is the old day. This is exciting.
Are you glad I'm teaching you anti-gravity today? And the nature of how anti-gravity works? <laughs> Well, that's why you're going to build them. You're going to get, go and get the frequency generator. You're going to show them, and whatever Coast House say is all come true. Now, you see it? This is your ring. You see it? Your ring. This, 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 this is just a regular coil ring, and it, and this is how it works. This is, this is how anti gravity works. It's that simple. It's nothing more than that. Oscillating at two different frequencies, and nature allows its two frequencies to find balance it will create the third frequency and that's what you call your 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 your, your gravity magnetic uh, plasma field what mr. cash referring to yeah and that's why I kept quiet that's why I led you to create a control system because they all wanted a spaceship okay this is it you see this is your ring right here guys your ring your ring coil and this is your pendicular thing you see it all connected to different frequency generated. The two oscillations, the two different oscillations will, when the two oscillate nature will combine the two fields to create the third frequency, which you know as your plasma field, which is responsible for zero point energy and anti and anti gravity, because magnetic gravitational are responsible for that. Magnetic for electricity and anti gravity. We started it's not even called anti gravity. Pretty much it's like you're creating a, a different life form. It's just like the planet Earth. It has its own time space uh, uh, rate. That means the people inside this bubble will have a totally different time experience. So if you build this and your Q device control this, your true Q device control the proportion system, there is no wire connection to it. Your Q just does it. Everything is through the photon field. There you see? The plasma produces light as photon. Your Q designed to process photon into particle. So when you ask the Q to do something, it sends back information to the magnetic gravitational you know, proportion system. And that's it. It what you ask. Because consciousness control the system. Consciousness control it. That's why you need your Q. Yes, yes you can. If you have two cones, if you have two cones, let me show you a ship that I told everyone we designed. Remember, I'm the master. Let me show you how the ship works. This is the same thing. This is the same thing as your magnet gravitational coil. This is, you don't need no plugging, you don't need no anything. This generates the same effect. This is it. This generate the same gravity field. You recognize this. Okay. And I'm going to draw the pilot. Did you looking for natural? We got natural. We got everything. Okay, look. This is the two pilot share. No wire. This is your Q device. Your Q device is right there. The little the little dot right there. It's your Q device. Pilot core. This is made from seashell. This is made from seashell or made from wood or made from rock. The whole thing is made from hot glue and rock, you know. That's it. It must be dark. You go in there, you sit down, you start activate your Q device. Now the ship activate and your pineal gland activate and your higher cell make this thing work. Okay. This right there, my friend, is all made from seashell, rock, hot glue in this shape. And it's the same thing as this. It's the same thing as this, your magnetic gravitational coil. It's the same thing. It's the same thing as that. This, the two cone, is the same thing as that. Okay. This thing right here, this two cone, point together, not touching, create the same effect like this. Yes. You get it? Good. So, so now you see what I just showed. This Two cones point to with each other, not touching, create the same effect as this. This shape is the same thing as that. So you see, 
This magnetic gravitational coil set up for anti-gravity and zero point is the same thing as this two big cone. So do you understand now? I'm teaching you how the system because there's more than one way to accomplish the same thing. It depending which way you want to go. Yes. Uh, on those coils, uh, is one of them going to be looped around the other, or are they just only uh, 90 degrees angles against each other? This one? Uh, this one. This is two different systems now, but it's the same. The, uh, this, is the, this is the cash version. I took the cash coil. This is the cash coil version right there. So manual. Manual. I know you. I know you understand this now. So you understand it now. And um, it's easy. Mm -hmm. I said you understand the diagram now, correct? Yes, and we only need one, one, one. Um, we only need. A magnet gravitational. We, we only need two set. This set and that set. That's it. Cause does the magnet coil also have a certain amount of churn? No. No, it's a five. Okay, if you have seventy churn, you must have one forty churn. If you have 86 ton, you make 86 times 2. That's how much the other ton is. No, I don't. This this is for something else. I, you know my graph take too much coil, too much wire. I don't. Daddy don't have money. Daddy needs sponsor. <laughs> The wire cost $146 in Home Depot alone. <laughs> okay, what is it, Manuel? Uh, what do you don't get? This I have in my mind. I dream of it this night. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this is what you're missing. Now this anti-gravity device, when you make it with nature, this is how you do it when you do it with nature, what you do with uh, my version, the other version. This is Kashi, Kashi version, Kosal version. See the difference? <laughs> Why? Yes. There's the Cash Foundation. Uh, there's people who in Amazon. They do sell the coil on. Uh, is it Amazon, guys? Look on Amazon. Look for magnetic gravitational coil. See. Uh, maybe on eBay or on uh, Amazon. There's people who. Let me see. Someone going to please help me out. Cash coil. Look it up. Someone selling it. I know they do. Because I know there's people who sell magnetic, magnetic gravitational coil. When I was in the Cash Foundation, the first thing I did 
will steal everything from them. Their knowledge, their technology, and then, and then, and then the Q device told me after you uh, steal everything from them, kill them all. I said, yes, device. Do we have to kill them all? I said, you are a hijacker. You don't leave someone alive or else they tell on you. And how you can't take credit for everything. You're right. So therefore, I go there and take everything and say, I create it now, Cashy. I will spread it. So I give it away. And then I look and say, Yes, Gangnam Style. <laughs> Should it be dipped in? Yes. You want to use ashes and water. I forgot about that. Dip the magnetic gravitation in ashes and water. Why? Because we're trying to stay away from cashy complexity. That's why I am called Kosal Cash today. Not, uh, not Mr. Cash. Kosal Cash, you get it? <laughs> so now it's time to disclose to you anti gravity and zero point energy with the magnet gravitational setup, not Cashy style Kosal version, you know. And why your Q was created to control that technology. Because if you don't have your Q device, you have problems, it will fly away. There go your anti-gravity. Bye-bye. So, now we're going to go and get minor gravitational coil, get a two-frequency generator, and you hook up the way I show you, and this is done. See? This magnetic gravitational coil is not connected to this magnetic gravitational coil at all. It's independent. You have to understand anti gravity. And I'm very pissed off because the Cashy Foundation, they were right there. They were like putting in front of you. And they do not tell you just to do the offset connect to a frequency generator to create a thought, the thought frequency. And I was like. Yeah, right there they got it. Right there, instead they said, "Oh, do this, do." I said, "Oh my God, but, not the way off." Oh my God. So now you <laughs> now you will have anti gravity. Now you will have your zero point. Now I'm going to tell you how this thing works. What will happen when you turn it on? Okay. All you begin go if get. Yes. Yes. Okay, let me tell you what happened. Once you turn it on, I have experience because I built so many versions. Okay, once the frequency generator, it must be offset. Now, you're not just creating only anti gravity, you're actually creating a time machine. Now, time will flow different around this device. So that means. You will experience totally different, and some of you will disappear. You will end up in a parallel reality. Some of you will return back, and some of you will go this way, that way. It depends how you think and believe. When you turn on the coil, you set the different. Each coil receives a different frequency. Next thing you know, you you hear a humming sound and, and say, "What is going on?" Then next thing you know, there's the device glow. It comes a little bit of this. Next thing you know, it glow. It building up the plasma field building up. Then I truly call the plasma. It's building up now. It start to grow. It become violet or red or green. Exactly look like a flying saucer now. Next thing you know, it, it suck more in you. Shh. It... <laughs> yes. And then, and then, yes. And then the coil will will. Oh, you thinking now? Two things will happen. 
the device want to take off. It started moving this way, moving that way. You know, it's like, whoa, whoa. And then it started to give you energy. The, the, the house, the electricity, it started everything. The light bulb might start getting a little brighter and everything. The best way you do at this point, is leave it alone, it'd be okay. But it still want to fly away. But now, immediately when you unplug the frequency generator, it will still work. It will still glow. And this time it was such, yes, it will start to self-generate itself. Now it's ready to leave. And this time you must activate your cue device immediately. Device activate and increase. And then after that, your cue start coming online. Next thing you know, you hear a voice coming from the magraph. I'm, I'm ready to receive instruction. And you will wonder, so what's going on? Because it's talking to you through your cue device. That's why. So your cue device filtering the frequency. At this point, now you tell the magraph where you want to go. Follow your just you do like this. It fly, follow your hand. Now you are one with it now. Now you have to talk to it. Talk to both you and the magraph. Device, will you become one with me? And I become one with you. And then a voice will come through, through to your cue device and to your brain because your brain is cannot handle what is being emitted so your cue device is there to filter thing out and now you hear a voice saying okay i'm one with you now and i am you are one with me now yes now you see why your cue device yes and yes and also mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay, everyone. Thank you. you understand now how we can create. Yes. Okay. And all the other Excellent. Thanks so much. See you tomorrow. See you. To, see you tomorrow, Manuel. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. You see that? I'm the best. I might, they can't beat my ego. I told you they can't beat my ego. Now, remember, the bullshit master. I will bullshit them. I will brainwash them. I will unite them like Lord of the Ring. One ring. I do it. One ring will bring them. One ring will bind them. One ring will rule out of them all. Yeah. <laughs> Lord of the Ring. <laughs> now, as for your cute, as for your ring device, you can have it offset too. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you what happened in the future. In the 21st century, there's going to be a nuclear war between the Iranian state and the North Korean state and the United States. Many of you in a parallel universe has died already. So I am here to bring this knowledge to teach you how to create this device that in case you need to leave this reality you have a way to get off a of dodge you know and end up in other words but in this parallelity is safeguarded by IBM Watson so you should be okay but just in case you're gonna be given technology see I got the ring offsetting you know technology how to create anti-gravity so you may catch up with the secret space program see this is 90 degrees. This is doing with uh, capacitive. Okay. So today we continue our workshop. Now, any question on anti gravity? You all you need to go buy two frequency generator. Okay. I don't know how much it costs in your Amazon, but each each Amazon is different from country to country, and you don't need a high frequency generator. You just need two frequency generator. It can be a you know, just go with it, and that's all you need. You need a mag two two set of magnetic gravitational coil. And if you're planning to do that way, the other way you want to do is this version. It's a little simpler, but it's not be that potent, but it still works. Uh, this version is not be that potent, but it still works. You know, this is just a. It will start to glow and will start to levitate too. But um, to make a lot, huh? This. So there's no magnets involved, it's just a coil. What, is the coil made out of copper? Yes, 
No. No, 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 no. It's just the name that was given. So I don't want to change the name. Because everyone has been gravitated to that particular name by the Cash Foundation. You know. So they call it magnetic gravitational. And since it's working for them, I should not change it. Because that will create more confusion. The objective is to not create confusion. To use what they know to help them make a working device. I promised it. I promised them a working Q device. And that they communicate and heal and stargate and now it's done. They already accomplished that. And and now they've done it, you know? So they're happy. Now I'm gonna make a new promise. Cause you know, being the being a bullshit master, like any president, I have to make the big P promises. <laughs> I promise now, them are you gonna do any improvements upon uh Cash's uh Yes. Will, are you, you are? Remember I told everyone I'm gonna hijack his work? And I'm going to steal everything from him. This is it. This is it. Well, I, I look forward to your uh, model. Like, let's say later this year. If you make no. any model that I'm, take the up for us. No, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have my minion doing that. I'm going to have Jackie. I'm going to have Fernando. I'm going to have... Because right now I run out of money. Money meaning... Look, ever since oh. the wife came in, I have to spend a lot on... You know, wifey relationship. And I don't have any supplies, you know. Money to buy supplies, this and that. And frequency generated costs money. It, it's like, you can see it's 30 some, uh, close to $40. Two, that's it. If, you know, and, and it's like, oh. We buy from you. We buy from you. Make money. I am the bullshit master. Yes. Everything you buy from me works, you know. And, um. Mm -hmm. It's going to work automatically. Well, I'm going to tell you how I always done it. I always get knowledge instantly, but what I do, you know, I said I'm kind of skeptical. What I do, I send my minion, that means my student and stuff, and they go build it. And then when it works, I say, I told you that it works. Say, yes, you sure did. I told you that it works. Now I get out there, go across the lumber from Wesley, Wesley Knight Snyder or something. Watch that movie called. Um, uh, the Bubblegum Man, no, where, um, what's his name? Wesley Snyder with, uh, the guy who played Rocky. Who's that guy who played the Rocky? Sylvester Stallone. Yes, Wesley Sniper and Sylvester Stallone, when this movie where, um, they both was put in cryogenic and they woke up in the future, the year 2020, and everything was changed. Demolition Man, that's what it was, you know? And he had to play the role, you know? <laughs> So what I do, I make my minion, they go and build it, because that's what everybody to me is like minion, you know, I'm like the, the minion master and they, the minion, and they go and build it, and as I told them, everything they do, what I say, I say it always works. When people follow cash, nothing works, but people follow me, everything works, and they know it too, right then this, you notice that? That's why I'm giving you. Yes. No, you're getting a working model. No, you don't need a professional. We have the, the we, we have my group of my graph builder and cube builder. You know, all my group member, majority ninety nine percent of them came from Cashy Works. You didn't know that, didn't you? No, you don't need that. Well, that's the whole thing. There's no, it's so simple. Everyone in my group right now that have experience with magra, they know exactly what that is. Magnetic gravitational coil. And they can build it instantly. Now they might question me, oh, great master. I say, yes, my minion. Uh, should it be said you can do 60, 120, 70, 140? 80 to 160, or uh, 90 to 180, you know, that's, they didn't know exactly what that means. I give them the formula. And why I talk so egoistic is part of the act. According to the NSA uh, report, let me see, hold on. Hold on, I got it right here. Hold on, give me a second.
Okay, according to NSA uh, CISSP report, safety report, see, I'm going to read what it said. It's where the, it said, for Kosal not to be assassinated or killed, he must go and out there and act like his big ego, and he must act like a fool and make people not believe in him, but yet he can give the real knowledge as long as he make people, the public, not to believe in him. Therefore, no one come and visit him, he say, and always will be. The moment when the public take him seriously, his ass is dead. They go land a ship, they go take him, they going to probe him, his brain. <laughs> so, luckily, the Federation of Light from the Imagination World is protecting him. As long as he always mentioned the word bullshit, and it's, it's he protected, always. So that's it. <laughs> you like this one? That's according to the, uh, what's it called? NSA, CIA, SSP, safety report, Coastal I only. <laughs> see? You see, I tell you, I was not joking. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> am I amazing? That's the reason I have to act this way. And people who watch me don't know and say, this guy is nuts. This guy is crazy. This guy is, oh my God, you know? But that's what they wanted. They want me to teach the real knowledge but act like a fool, you know, act like a fool, because to discourage the public from paying attention to it, see, the elite always give you real technology, but they classify it sci-fi, they always like Stargate SG-1, Star Trek, um, Stargate Atlantis, Stargate Universe, the Replicate, the Borg, all that are real, all that are real, including the Replicator, you know, but all everything you see in sci-fi is real, because they had that already, but they just got to tell you in a way that you don't take it seriously, so they call it sci-fi. The same way with me. I'm teaching you real stuff, but I can't tell you it's real stuff. I got to say, it's bullshit. Oh, man, you know me. I'm, I watch sci-fi. The truth is, I got the real knowledge from the dream world and from sci-fi, you see? You need the cue. Without the cue, your coil won't follow you. Because your cue train you to command the coil. The coil requires psychic power, you know, extremely. So that's why your cue. Let's say you have your cue. You'll be able to maneuver to do various. You just talk to it. Okay, but turn on the coil. You tell me to do something, I do it. But you can't do it if you don't connect to the cue. The cue train you to connect to the coil. Because it gives you that relaxed state. Relaxed state where you can. Yes. Yes. Exactly. The key is to relax. Again, in order to command the coil, you have to relax. Because you've been trained by the cue, now you're ready to control the coil. Does that make sense? Just say like this. That's why we call this the ring. One ring will bind them. One ring will bring them. Come on, my graph. And one ring will unite them. And one ring will control them all. And that's why you need only one ring. You know? It's interesting you're holding that ring. Yeah, Have you ring. seen in old mythology, like in the, the old Anunnaki gods, mm -hmm. uh, Assyrian gods, yes. there's a ring that they hold in their hand, the, 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 king, the king of the gods. <laughs> yes. a ring like that, well, what you're holding. It, that's why more devices have ring. Just like the mother box, you see the ring. The mother box from DC Universe. Okay, like this. If you have this, now you have the regular ring, but and then you have your cone, then you have your ring inside, and it's also inside the box. Yeah, you're going to create some unique experience there, you know? But remember, I only teach you the basic. The Q device is supposed to teach you all this kind of stuff, but not many of you are wanting to know about anti-gravity. So today I decided to teach you anti-gravity. As a gift for the new year. Mm -hmm. those, those rings that you're holding right now. Yes. Are you capable of, of using that in a similar fashion of the one you've been speaking to on the diagram? You like can you use this. Like you See, 90 right degrees. Yeah. 
we got working model already of every level. But for me, yeah, so, so but that, that device right there, if you hook it up to frequency generator, oh yeah, it would do a lot of magic. Oh, it can do a whole lot. Okay, frequency generation one can go to this ring, this ring coil, this ring right here. This it can pass the ring. Yeah. In other words, frequency generator can go to. Once it starts to oscillate, if it does the same thing as your coil. But now we moving a little ahead of ourselves right now. Because what happened, the group is just being freshly exposed to anti-gravity and zero point. Today I began to teach them because I asked the Q, I have nothing more to teach them on a basic level. So the Q told me to teach them anti-gravity. Since they gave me approval, I said, okay, let's do this. Now if you guys use the ring with a frequency generator, and this and put it 90 degree, it does the same thing as your other device, as your, as, as doing like here, okay, or your coil, you know, this one, or this one. Now, yes, this is magnetic gravitational like, coil. Well, I'm going to let Jose speak because my, my throat is bothering me. Jose, please oh. come in, please. Jose Gato, my compadre. Compadre, you go ahead. Can you explain to him magnetic gravitational coil now? That this, about this. Oh, I, have, I, have, I have it here in my hand, right there. Okay. Oh, compadre. Oh, so you're saying you do have one inside of her. Mm -hmm. organic. Yeah, they are organic system. Organic, if you hook up a frequency generator to organic, it does that. It also does the same thing like your magnetic gravitational coil, too. Mm -hmm. But at the capacitor, yeah. we do the same on in and out for, mm -hmm. the, for the frequency generators? Yeah. And can the capacitors be touching each other, or we have to put some glue in between so that we don't touch each other? Mm -hmm. oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. And also, you're going to dip in ashes and water instead of Mr. Cash, copper, and zinc gants. Because the reason is, you got to understand, the magnetic gravitational coil is not my technology. And that's why I don't like to touch it too much. So I make an equivalent. This, the ring. The ring is an equivalent and better functioning. So, yes. I... Hello. I spent many years. I spent over 60 years in the secret space program, you know, because um, number one, they say, oh, I didn't hear that story. Hey, I'm making shit up as I go along. So if you tell enough lies, the people believe it, as long as you show them evidence. <laughs> so you see how it works? Yes, it is an alternative. Every that's what we did. His coil having You need frequency generator to create an oscillation that is different. I just, oh. I just glue it and put mm -hmm. it together. And also, it, it, an out. and also, as you can see, the capacitor is equivalent too. You can put a 90 degree and, and the ins and the out and go to a frequency generator. This in and out go to a frequency generator. But guys, you are creating a time machine now. You was, each one of you will start to open up a portal automatically now. And then you will slip through to another planet or to another dimension. So what I'm giving you is the gift. So you have to understand one thing. This is not a game. This is not a joke. Some of you will get a little knock from the door from your boys and girls upstairs, the alien. Some of them come from a secret space program.
the new claim from your CIA and they will want to ask you will you want to work for them on the mall base. I recommend you, you should say yes. You know, because it's fun. Because they now they see you, because the test was to show you how to, if you create anti-gravity, they want you in this space program. That was the unique thing. It's called the brain drain. A free job. Yes. Okay. Well, it is a free job. You won't get paid, but you get to have fun. You get to play with high technology. You get a three square meal a day. You get to have a Star Trek uniform, okay? And also, don't mess with a little animal in Mars because all Venus, this creature, and this tree, this, but there's a lot of rodent like animal up there. So you can see what Corey Good was talking about, okay? So just to let you know, I have so much knowledge, and I wish people would. <laughs> so the next workshop, now you are you clear on anti gravity? The next one, I'm going to close this. I'm going to open up new one. We're going to do what we call the Q1, Q2 with the helmet, with the ring on the head, surround the head, and um, and with the, you know, cone like that, and, and, you know, and connecting to the Q1 so people can have a wireless connection and direct connection to the device so they can start hearing the telepathic directly. It's like four speed. The reason is a lot of people can't relax for some reason because they've been watching too much porno. I know, and so therefore they can't think get women out of their head. They get they can't think they can't get pussy out of their mind. So I'm gonna create a system that device can remove that and get the thing. <laughs> you see that Dennis I have to deal with is people out there relax because they're watching porno too much. You know. And that's how they woke up. It's woke up. It's five o'clock. Oh, it's raping time. Let's go look out for someone for raping. And that's all they think about. It's like, no, how can you relax? You think about raping, you know? Like, my goodness. <laughs> so they got to build one of this, put into the head, and, you know, <laughs> and it's. Yes. Well, all this technology came from my imagination, bro. And when people ask me, wow. did you really spend all the time in dream, bro? I make shit up as I go along. Give you a narrative. <laughs> I watch sci-fi, baby. <laughs> and see the. Mhm. Mm yes. Yes. Remember. If you ever, once you listen to me, you get everything working like I said. You listen to Mr. Cash, anybody else, it won't work. Because like you said, the expo know what is going on. So once you train by me and went through the experience, then you can teach other people. Because you, through your experience and training, you know what work and what not. Because I'm here to show you the way. I'm here to do it with you. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to close this, guys. I'm going to open up a new one. It's going to be a new workshop. Uh, Facebook, any question about the anti-gravity? Ask now. Or else the Bullshit Master is closing this first workshop and creating the new workshop, creating a Q1 and the uh, ring device with the conical helmet. And how will I play? Going what? So we can replace the magnet gravitational, the magnet graph with the two ring. Yes, you can replace the magnet gravitational coil with the two ring, but you still need a frequency generator. Yep, that's what makes that. You still need a, a frequency generator. Look, okay, let, let me draw it for you. Okay, the fewer I love you. <laughs> you, know, you know, the funny part is, I told, I keep saying you you can more than one way to accomplish anti gravity, and that's why I don't want to touch too much of magnetic gravitational coil because that's cashy, that's cashy, and me him, we hate each other because that's why he tell people 
Oh, if you go with Kosal, you don't come to me. Well, I tell them back. I tell them back just for the evil side, just for the playful side. You, if you come to me, you don't go to Kashi. <laughs> it's a mirror. But the truth is, I don't care what people do. Whatever they're happy. I just want them to learn something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good question, Fernando Super. Hold on, I feel an urge. Where's my cat and rabbit? Okay. I love cat and rabbit because you can kiss them every day. <laughs> Give me a second, guys. You know, I have multiple personality, okay? Most people have never met personality like me before. They are amazed. Like they didn't know such being exists at all in this life. And I was amazed too. I didn't know such personality exists. And I and I realized that personality is me. But wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, well, this is going to be interesting because once the ring get a taste of the oscillation, it's going to be a wholly, totally different ball game. It shouldn't heat up because it's based on frequency, not, not high voltage. Mm -hmm. Well, now we're we creating anti-gravity now. It's a totally different ball game. Yeah, but it's hyper. It's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't have to, you have to offset the frequency and then nature will allow the two frequency to cross each other to create a new frequency, which you call plasma field. I knew what Mr. Cash was saying, was doing, but the reason I left him be, because I didn't want to be, I don't want to be like parade on his, you know, that that's his party. I have no right to parade on his, what's called rain on his parade. Okay. You see that? The ring, right? The ring. Okay. Now let's connect this to a frequency generator. Fernando always asks a good question, but Fernando also talked to the device. Okay. I got the rings already glued. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is connecting to the frequency generator. You can see in Facebook. Okay, look. You get it, the idea now, right? Okay, that's one. Now I'm going to do the other one. It's going to be perpendicular to each other. And I don't know how I'm going to draw it. See, the reason... Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Look, it's going to be like this. That's what I'm trying to draw in, okay? See that? Yeah, but you can put a glue on it or something. Okay, See it, guy? Yeah, yeah, the glue. glue you understand now, guys? Sure, we can replace the magraph with the two ring. Yes. Okay. Okay, let me see. The, the reason... Huh? Well, on the part right here, right? Right here. Yeah, yeah we put a hot glue on it so it won't touch each other. So you gotta put some hot glue okay. inside right there. Yeah, do the opposite side. So yeah, put the hot glue right there. Hot glue right there. See? Hot glue. In here, in here. See? Today I'm, I'm, I'm Kosal Cash. And that's all you gotta know. Kosal Cash? Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't want to speed force you all this kind of stuff because 
your body is so fragile. Remember, um, this is something new to your consciousness and experience. And I didn't want to push things too far. Then many of you will, in other words, I'm opening up doors that is, you know, that is quite interesting, the, this door. Yeah. And that's the reason I kind of careful. At the same time, I'm also aware there's jealousy people out there who want to take this and claim it is there. And that's where I said, and then I go there and so I look at the face, say, you, are you full of shit? I'm full of shit. Which one is it? Yeah, and then I walk away. <laughs> I do. I'll show you something I learned a few years ago. Mm -hmm. When you take one finger like this mm -hmm. and put it, your two fingers like a like a chain. Yes. When you make it where these two fingers, your fingers don't touch. Yes. And you meditate, you actually bring up chi. Chi energy starts flowing at a higher rate in your body. Oh, nice. But however, yeah, so. however. Ask you, do you want super power or do you want to take a long time? That's what I ask. I stay quick like you. All right. Good answer. That's why you come to me. <laughs> okay. Do you understand? Your coils work something like this organically. We can already do a miniature version of it with with our fingers. Well, we did also organic with corn husk. I built the vice from corn husk and it worked just fine too. You know? It don't matter. Mm -hmm. Look, look, this is it. You understand it now. See the frequency generated. Right. Okay. Sit. There you go. There you go. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay, hold on. Well, thank you. Oh. Okay. Fernando see Fernando say this is good. So you see how I do things? I'm not I'm not what you think. I mean I teach in a funny way, but I don't want you to get hurt by the secret government. That's why I make you see things, I warn you. This is I'm gonna give it to you, but you gotta understand what I'm doing is you know what I'm giving you is also can cost you your normal life. Okay, you understand frequency generator now to create different. So, so once you get a frequency generator from Amazon, or wherever you want, eBay, whatever, now you can create your anti gravity device. But remember, it's a time machine. It's a time displacement machine. Okay, it's time space displacement machine. That means. Strange thing gonna be happening, but it's also issue gonna be your ship. So you gotta have fun. I want everyone to have fun and notice that you will do exactly as I told you. You can use this to get a frequency generator and connect it. Okay? You can do the magnet magnetic gravitational coil. Or you can use the cone. I mean not cone, what's the call? Uh, the ring. So, you see? So I give you option already. So this I own. But this I don't own. This is cashy word. So that's why I say I'm, 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 I'm doing Kosal Cash today. Okay, I'm channeling Mr. Cash. Good evening, good day. How are you? Wherever you are around the world. <laughs> Okay, okay, so, okay, the next workshop will happen in the next 15 minutes. I have to go and heal my mom real quick, because, you know, I got to do some healing on her. So I come back, you just hang tight, let me shut this. So anything from Facebook, people, you understand it, tell me. All of you who are watching, do you understand? I just, okay, good. Yeah. Okay, um... Those who have MagGraph, you can use your MagGraph change to anti-gravity. Those who don't do the MagGraph, use your ring to do the anti-gravity, okay? With oscillation. And if we buy a ring from you, those are like $200 each, right? I make, I, I make our students pay hard because two rings like Q2, that's $200.
press shipping and handling. Woo wee! <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> but we don't know. I have not set the price for anti-gravity yet. But let's say you want to see it in action. But remember, my friend, what I give you is a gift. So I expect you guys to treat it nice and share it. Because you know the secret, the, the boy upstairs going to be keeping an eye on you. Hey. Yeah, you know it. Like I said, oh, you don't have to worry about demonstrating it because someone is go, my I have my minion. Jose, no, I have a lot of minion. They will do stuff for me. Remember, I have the power. Yeah, Jose, so you can make your own devices now, right? Yes, I don't know how to work it, but I'm, I'm making it. Mm -hmm. wow. I, all, all my minion and... I have my minion that means all people in my group, in other words. Because remember that movie called Minion? They are looking for master. And first they went to Mr. Cash. They thought he was the master. And then they found out he was a ty ty Tyronis Rex. <laughs> and then, then they're looking for a master again. Then they found me. <laughs> and that, that's how it works. The bullshitter, you know. See? So this two go to, to the frequency generator. Sorry guys, I don't have a frequency generator. Now once the device will start to feed, it start to self-generate. So you have the magnetic gravitational version for your anti-gravity zero point and you have your uh, ring version for anti-gravity and gravitational uh, what's called um anti-gravity and zero point energy. Cause it's gonna create the plasma field now. It's gonna feed. It first it take and then it start to give back. So the spherical, the consciousness unit we call. So your Q device will control this and control. Um, doesn't matter if this thing fly to space. You can still ask it to come back and it will. You know. So don't don't worry. Or you can do the magnetic gravitational coil version. No, you don't want to do that yet. This is where the teaching of Kashi come in. Once you create the system and they create the glow, you put them, you create a, a box, you put them each corner where the, where the plasma field will connect to each other now. Now you go inside and sit. Now your Q device still is the control panel. Your Q unit is needed, Q6, Q24, that will control your device, the ship. And that's how it works, meaning like this. See, I told you I like cash today. I'm channeling him. Oh, Fernando, check with your Q device too to make sure I'm, I'm, I'm teaching it right. You hear me, Fernando? Okay. This is your magnetic gravitational coil or your capacitor coil. Uh, the, another one, this, the ring, the ring. I call it the ring. You, what? Okay. This is your Q device. This is, you see, you put the different device in different area. One, two, three, four, five. This is your seat, and this is your two Q device, right? Your Q device control all the other device. See, look. 
I say check with your queue to make sure everything I say is correct. <clears throat> okay, Fernando. See, this is your, you know, your anti-gravity device, whether it be this version or the magnetic gravitational version. You set it one, two, three, four, the corner, one on the top. This is your, your seat, two seat, and this is your two Q device. Your two, your two device that you can control all the magnetic gravitational coil or the, or the ring anti-gravity device, you know, because they will connect to each other. So that's pretty much it. And you that's why training with the Q was important. Um, so feed everything is from the Q, but the Q control your anti-gravity system. So okay. Now I'm going back to Kosar world. That took a lot to come into Kashi world, you know? <laughs> I'll get you, Cash. I told you. <laughs> I have too many personality, but it's a good thing. But they are loyal to the same thing. <laughs> okay. Now you understand now. You can have this or my gravitation version. But you still need a two frequency generator. Okay. So even without the frequency generators, when you hold that in your hand just the way it is, there's a there's a miniature version of a distortion already happening. Oh yes, it is. Yes, but however, your Q, it, it, it does that naturally, but, how, but your, okay, for those who can talk to the device, they don't need all this. They don't need, they don't need this. They don't need any of this. They don't need it. They just require this. They only require this. The two big cone, the ship, and this, um... And they sit in a seat and with the Q device. And that's it. Because now everything generated by the higher self. There's no technology involved. See, to do, those of you who can talk to the Q device, you don't need any frequency generator, this or that. All you do is build up an, an, a ship like this with the cone. And this you and your co-pilot. And that's your Q device right there. And you just activate it. And that's it. And then you teleport where you want to go or fly. This is because it's done by your higher self. That's why. And you can talk to that, your queue. That, that machine you're showing, that's a spaceship, right? Yes. This is a spaceship. Okay. The cone, the, let's say, uh, uh, forgive me, I have to ask some basic questions. The circle, what is that made out of? Out of seashell? Or you, can like make, a globe you, you can make out of paper, cardboard box. You can make out of anything. Leave. You just have to glue it together and make sure that you have a structure for it. Your ship can made out of paper if you want. Cardboard and stuff like that. As long as there is no light infiltrating you. Because your higher mind is the one that make this work. In this version. Because you can talk to your device. So Fernando could do it. I could do it. Any one of you who talk to the Q device could do it. <laughs> yes, the calm ship. Yes. So this is simple. It's all made from paper and hot glue. That's your shit. It's real. And then if your paper and hot glue hit a building, the building fall, not your ship. You know, this is the amazing thing about consciousness. Mm -hmm. So. So that's like two pyramids, one pointing at each other. Yes. Yes. Two cones. Uh, you see that, Jose? Paper, copper, anything. Jose, you see it? Anybody who. Uh, who can talk to the device, the Q device, they don't need the other version. This is it. They, everything make a paper cone, paper this, paper that. The whole ship could be a make a cardboard, you know. And then you can paint hot glue or whatever onto it. Or forget about it, just go in. In other words, you can crash it, whatever, you don't have to worry about it. That's it. So. Right. But it just, in other words, you teleport from here to the moon. If the Nazi take, took present, so what? Who cares? You can make more. <laughs> yeah. So if you teleport here to the moon and the Nazi t took your ship, so who care with crap? You can make more. There's plenty of a of, 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 of box to make, you know. You can get it from the trash box, you know, like the recycling. Okay. So it don't matter. It just only those who can talk to the device 
can do this shit and make it work. If you don't talk to your device, that means you didn't relax enough, forget about it. You didn't go build your, go train. Go train until you can talk to your device and come relax. The key is relaxation. Yes. The key is relax. The more you relax, the more you can connect to your cue. You see that? Good question. Okay, I think I'm done with the first workshop. Um, all right, I'm going to heal my mom. I come back. We'll do a second workshop. Okay, love all of you. Thank you. Okay, you too.